to be a way to escape the spirit world without the help my master was pleased to deny me. Only in the material realm would I have a chance to seek my destiny or change it. Okay, for Raziel to... Uh, Raziel's been denied the ability to simply phase back into the material realm when he's gained enough energy like he could in the previous games. I didn't know I could stand on this. I guess it's not really going to get me anywhere, is it? The combat between Kane and Raziel is largely the same. There are some distinct differences. Uh, Raziel can swim, but he doesn't have like, the same kind of telekinetic ability. He can still do that kind of thing. So he can't pick people up and chuck them, you know. There's some other differences. They both have different abilities, special abilities, and some sort of reaver powers. I don't really need to fight these things. Well, anyway, I have enough energy, I just need to find a way back into the material realm. Being that we can't really interact with objects in the world, it means we can't do things like open doors. But Raziel does have the ability to do some things like... Oh, chains, like, uh, face, things like logs, solid doors or walls. We can't get through the door, but we can get through the window and phase through these bars. So we in this crypt, I discovered ethereal gases rising from the moldering corpse within. As I neared, I felt a distinct spiritual pull, and the closer I approached, the more that pull intensified. In the end, it was not difficult. I projected myself down into that tomb. And found myself reborn into the material world. It was a loathsome vessel, but with an effort of will, that too could change. Okay, Raziel has found his way back into the material realm. So now we're in the real world, I call it. We can't go this way yet, cuz... These gargoyles quickened as I drew near, triggering the door to close. I would need to find some means of approaching the door without being observed. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. Now that he's in the material realm, though, he can open doors and stuff. But he can no longer phase through bars. She won't go near the place. I tell you, the pillars are haunted. Haunted? I heard a woman's voice talking and moaning, and there was no one there. How many vampires have you killed, and you can't face down one ghost? I knew who these were. Vampire hunters, scouring the countryside, destroying what had once been my kind. 
My god, what is that? A vampire or a demon? Where? Here. Get him! Quickly! No mercy! Alright. We essentially found out the time period that Raziel is caught in, and it is not the same time period that Kane is on the time period. These were Mobius's hunters, mercenaries enlisted in his crusade to exterminate the vampires. His insignia was unmistakable. But this meant I'd been captive in the underworld for centuries. I had lost 500 years. Then I knew what ghost it was that haunted the pillars. Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian. Perhaps she could provide the answers I sought. First, I would have to find a way out of the cemetery. You can't just fly because his wings are busted up. But um, we can get moving. This is the exit I believe. We do not have the power to get to that yet, so that's not gonna happen. Not yet, at least. But we do have an idea of we do know where we are or when we are now. Essentially, um, Raziel was drawn back into the Elder God sort of embrace at the Raziel, Raziel, fallen hero, renegade and traitor. What is this? How do you know me? Raziel, what are you? Why should I know, know you? Me? You are nothing. It seemed my method of entering the physical realm was not altogether original. But where had these beings come from? Who cares where they came from? Make them dead. Raziel was occupying the same period of time that Cain was. As Cain went and uh, saved Raziel from being consumed by the Reaver, he went and his physical body disappeared and was drawn into the spectral realm. At which point, uh, the Elder God appears to have summoned him into his, like, domain or whatever. And Raziel has been there for five centuries, just now escaping. This basically puts us at the time that the original Blood Omen was taking place. In fact, like, as this is going on, Cain is wandering about in doing the events in person. Uh, by that I mean the events that weren't being done by all the time traveling crap that goes on in the series. It's a little weird. Yeah, it kind of... I guess they're evening out the gameplay. But in the old, earlier Soul Reaver games, souls that Raziel had released from their body by like killing their physical bodies were uh, sort of drifted around in the sky rather than, uh, rather than simply disappearing when the body died, you know. Okay, we need to find something to get to the sky. Raziel can swim unlike most vampires, but uh, he can't, he doesn't need to breathe, so that's good. It can, I guess some people can get a little messed up thinking about, uh, like, which character can do what. Sure it will. Like, Raziel can swim, Kane cannot. So somebody switching over to Kane may see a pool of water and jump in it trying to swim. Kane dies. That kind of crap. Uh, 
to the shitty texture on that sarcophagus there. Crappy camera angle. Okay, we can go out either way now. So well, just for no reason. Place is so depressing. Ah! Weird monster creatures. I believe that maybe this is perhaps the work of the Elder God trying to stop Rascal. Or possibly other people who are just, uh, Using the opportunity to escape. Aha. Razael is basically invincible. Being defeated would just send him back to the spectral realm, but I'd really rather not do that. No, wait, you know what? I have to go to spectral realm anyway. Something that happened a lot in the earlier games in the Soul River series involved a lot of, um, like, puzzles that involved you just basically switching over to the spectral realm in order to, say, get through that grate or jump on that pillar that got shorter when we moved into the spectral realm. Or, like, you jump on a pillar and then shift back to the material realm and the pillar gets taller while you're standing on it, so then you can make a jump that you couldn't make before. A lot of that kind of stuff. And in the first Soul Reaver game had, like, a whole lot of irritating box puzzles, too. Thankfully, not as much of those anymore, but it's still a few of them. Maybe a couple, I think. Die! Ah, screw you, I'm out of here. This edifice, marked with the elemental light symbol, was clearly much older than the ruins in the rest of the cemetery. The door was far too high to reach, and to open it, it seemed the Reaver would need to be imbued with the power of darkness. Clearly, I had more to accomplish before I could discover what lay within. We need some dark Reaver. I don't really need to fight this shit. Ah, You're gonna die. Oh, somebody's trying to kill me. Vampire hunters. Now these should be the vampire hunters that Mobius had essentially put together in order to hunt the vampires after um, William the Jones. After the gone back in time. For those um, who don't remember or didn't know, what had happened was Cain had basically been tasked with defeating a tyrant, a human who had basically gone and started taking over the world, destroying everything in his way. His name was the Nemesis, Crazy King. And he had gotten the, gotten the support of one of the local kings in order to use their army in order to fight against his nemesis. Cain led, the led their army in the battle and basically lost the fight. His army lost the battle and they were... Cain got surrounded. Just when he was about to be killed, though, a device he had picked up earlier in the game called the Time Stream device became activated and basically like, tossed him back in time like 50 years. Back to the point when uh, the nemesis was still a young man named uh, William the Just. Cain saw as an opportunity to rid the world of that tyrant right then and there. So he went in and killed him. Well, 
At the time, he wasn't the tyrant, and people loved him. So the death of... How do we get out of here? I forget. The death of a beloved king at the hands of a vampire was enough to spring the people into action. Oh, okay, that's right. Probably have to do this. Spring the people into action, and... Oh, wait, no. I'm already in this. Oh, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. enough to spring the people in action in the hatred of vampires and started the crusade against them. Now that I've gone and uh, shifted back in the material realm, I can just sort of go back the direction I came. I don't have to worry about uh, being in the spectral realm not being able to touch stuff. A lot of backtracking sometimes you have to do it in the material realm or the spectral realm. Oh, sons of beasts. This is the one that basically causes the near extinction of vampires. Really, only pain being left. Cain being the last vampire actually would have rid the world of the vampire race in the event he decided to sacrifice himself at the end of the world. But, you know, he clearly didn't do that not. Although you do, it is a player choice that you make at the end of Blood Omen, whether to sacrifice him or not. Now the game Blood Omen 2 kind of complicated this narrative a little bit because instead of instead of uh, King being the only vampire in existence, basically forcing himself to do a rather roundabout weird way of creating a vampire project. Like uh, Raziel and Mont Perel and all that is Normally, like exactly how a vampire is created in this world isn't really well explained. All that's known is that Cain for a long time didn't know how to do it. And he was the only vampire in the world, so he kind of was all by himself. So in order to make more of his kind, he came up with a rather roundabout, weird way of doing it. The Sarah which had been seemingly perfectly preserved after having been killed hundreds of years beforehand. basically breathed a portion of his soul into their bodies. Now Raziel was the first one, was the first vampire raised by Cain, so he was essentially the most powerful. But the, but the other ones were uh, pretty powerful themselves. Eventually uh, they figured out how to raise vampires normally. By the time the game is the vampire population had exploded. Things. Okay. I gotta open 
up this warp gate, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, I can, I can do it? Sweet. As I stepped through, I felt a sense of displacement as some arcane sorcery transported me away. This was an ancient ruin of a vampire civilization. Perhaps here I would finally decipher the riddle of my destiny. This episode would be way too long if I didn't cut it at some point.